this going to bother me the whole entire time? Is it better for the time being? Am I gonna hang this just so the background isn't atrocious in this video? Am I really gonna do that? Is this good enough for you? Me? Is this good enough for me? I forgot to put deodorant on today. So here's what's really going on. I've said in the past that I wanna start using my favorite lenses and cameras and take a little bit more time to make beautiful videos and I've never had enough time to do that now that I live in the desert and I am really interested in not only making art but making art about my art whether that is videos or even the way that I like frame my Instagram stories as a visual person I just like to make things pretty that's why it's so tough to live inside this place that I want to redo everything but that is my own growth opportunity to calm down and not have to change everything as soon as I get in. With all that being said, yesterday I went to go get an iPhone 13 because they have the cinematic mode and I wanted to start making videos on the phone that are cinematic. I did not know that this would take up my entire day, not only yesterday but today and it seems like maybe the rest of my life. I understand that I have a lot of media. For some reason, a computer can't compute how much media I have on my phone and the backup is not working. I'm going on maybe hour. Let me like actually figure this out without exaggerating. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then when I was sleeping, I also worked on it. <laughs> what a me statement. I already lost count, but it, this is already too much. Educated guess, I'm probably going on hour like 18 to 20. It's hard to not be upset with myself one in any situation but two do i need this many angles of a diy that i will never post these are the questions we should be asking ourselves my phone is hooked up to the computer desperately trying to get everything off so that i can go get my new phone so in order for me not to lose my mind which maybe some people watching are already like it's a little late for that i'm going to distract myself with cleaning out my closet because yes i did just move and i brought everything that i had to the desert and now that I'm going through this self-exploration and style change and I've done these videos before of like finding my style or trying a new thing and yeah we're gonna keep doing that because as humans we keep evolving as does our external expression of how we feel on the inside and so I'm a very different person than who I was when I bought all of these clothes and I'm surely a different person than I was when I brought them here no I haven't gotten around to doing this I'm one person and I'm tired and I'm healing and I need a little bit of a break I'm gonna take everything out of my closet and put on the floor what doesn't physically fit or vibrationally fit. <laughs> Whatever doesn't feel like a vibe is getting out of here. This is actually gonna be nice because one, I tend to not do anything until the very last minute. Or when it comes to my house or my clothes or my living situation, it gets really messy before I can even register that it is a shit show. So this is gonna be a nice way to help me help myself and take my mind off of the fact that maybe I'll never have a phone. Who needs a phone? It's not like I make a living off of it. Okay. Also in the midst of me figuring out what my this era of style is, I bought a few things from ThreadUp and I'm gonna see what feels most like me. There's also this thing called the one in one out rule. If you buy one article of clothing, that means you have to take one thing out of your closet. So it's an easy way to kind of have a reciprocating closet. There's a word for it and it's not reciprocating. Essentially, it's helping you keep your closet up to date, not hoard things. So this is exciting. We are gonna go in with the new to me and out with the old. What I'm really honestly hating right now is um, the fact that these doors are here. These doors are so frustrating, not only because they're ugly, but they don't move. The form is bad, the function is worse. Why are they here? Look. I'm taking the doors off. executive decision and then realize that maybe I'm not the person that should be in charge here. <laughs> no! Of course this happened to me! It's a good thing that I'm gonna replace these with hardwood floors in a year. I forgot that I have a lot of clothes here. It's moments like these where I'm like facing the consequences of my own actions. No! Of course this happened to me! Wild that 
thought when I woke up this morning, this room didn't look like the Wizard of Oz set. Hmm. Look at how far we've come. I'm hot now. This is one thing we'll keep. Okay, so I've shot a video like this before and I never posted it. So if this makes it up, here is how I'm gonna clean out this closet. I'm gonna make a pile of, I absolutely love this, I wear it all the time, I don't even need to try it on. I'm gonna make a second pile of, haven't worn this in a long time, let's see how it fits. And a third pile of donate or sell. It's just not staying here. Now we, one by one, go through every item. If I'm not sure about a piece, I'll put it in a, I'm not sure about this piece pile. And then I will see if I can wear it in like three different ways. And if I can wear it in three different ways that I actually like, then I keep it. I mean, I don't hate the Wednesday Adam vibes, but do I love them is the question. I feel like this doesn't feel like me. We're gonna say no. And that's a thing that we've been working on. These are an instant yes. We have a no, we have an instant yes. Now let's find one that we're not really sure about. See, I don't think this is my color. Also, I don't feel like this anymore. So now this is actually gonna be a no. I'm going to do the rest of this, and then when I have my piles, then we are going to integrate the new stuff. So from that big old mess, here is the donate and sell basket. This pile is things I enjoy, but just the way that they fit is not right. So now this is my to be altered pile, and knowing me, I probably won't alter them ever, and they'll end up being in that. This is definitely more than like five things, which means the five things I got, I can keep. So now this is turned into a get ready with me to go to a T-Mobile. Anytime that I'm trying to revamp my closet or add something or try a new style even, I'm always gonna use ThreadUp. This is not new news, I like thrift shopping. I also enjoy not ruining the planet, and I think equally, I like when people make promises that they keep. If you're buying a shirt and they're promising that it's going to fit you, it should still fit you after you wash it. Do you know what I mean? Who ever thought that I would try this a couple years ago? Not me. Maybe somebody else was cleaning out their closet and this no longer fits them, but it fits who I am becoming. So it's almost like the sisterhood of traveling items. And the best part is you don't have to leave your house to do it because everything is online. They're stuffed with the tag still on and it goes up to like 90% off what you would pay for this in a store. I put in my sizes, I put in like tank top or tube top or shorts and I find exactly what I'm looking for. The name of the game is what is the outfit that is going to bring me the most luck so that I can leave with a phone. <laughs> Technically, this phone is not supposed to be with me because I traded it in already. They were saying that I can't leave the store with this phone because it's now their property. But I think they felt bad for me because I was like, hey, I really need a phone in order to live my life. Not in a way of like, wow, this millennial girl can't live a day without her phone. It's like, no, I actually like need to work. <laughs> so please give me a working phone. But today's the day and the outfit is going to bring us the good vibes. Let's find the vibes. Okay, so first, this is a tube top. It was from Forever 21. The estimated retail price is $16. I got it for $12.99. The shirt is a little small, so we're going to balance it out with like bigger pants. I think this might be overdressed for a strip mall, but if I ever just wanna throw something on, I've pre-planned it. Actually, Air Forces would be better with this one, but I'm not even gonna wear it out, so it's gonna be fine. I still feel a little naked. When in doubt, always an overshirt. I feel like I live in overshirts. I actually kind of like how it hides the and then whenever I'm like in motion, then it gets interesting. You always want to give people a surprise. All right, we got another 2B. Loving the Zodiac vibe of it. What's my sign? I'm an Aries sun, a Libra moon, and a Cancer rising. This is my audition tape for some random reality show. The estimated retail price of this is 25 bucks. I got it for $9.99, and I actually am really loving how the post. I'm really loving how there's no back on the back because it's so hot that I can't afford to have a back on my back in the summertime. Again, more so for a weekend or a festival, not so much negotiating a phone plan. Let's see how I would style it. I think I keep this one super chill. Simple, not trying too hard. Just pop some sandies on. This is a good errand running outfit. We're gonna try one more errand running outfit, but otherwise this one is totally fine by me. I'm gonna start with this little graphic tee. The estimated retail price of this is $25. I paid $10.99 for it. 
Okay. I feel like we're already in a good place with this one. Let's um, fancy this up a bit because right now I'm still wearing the jeans. It's cute, but it kind of feels like gym class in high school. So let's elevate it a little bit. Because this is a knit shirt, it's already so casual. So I'm going to bring in something a little bit more snazzy. There's like a contrast stitch on these. Again, what is our goal? Balance. And to walk out of the store with the phone. Okay, like where we're going with this. I feel good and I feel like I can move. I feel casual, but dressed and put together, which is kind of like the best of both worlds. Yeah, this person is ready to talk to people out in the world. These were actually in the two tailor pile. So they're a little long, but it's fine. Bag on, blue glasses, a little crusty, a little dirty, a little broken on we out here wish me the utmost luck and if you also want to upgrade your wardrobe you can use my code batoon you'll get 35 percent off and free shipping on your first order also we're getting a pool it's above ground but it's still a body of water on my property <laughs> hi i'm back i lost half of my glasses but i gained a phone it's about to rain and all i can think of is drew barrymore's audio just saying like anytime that you can run in the rain maybe i just might and if i do I will try and make it cinematic. I'm finally doing it. I, I feel like I've said for so long that I wanted to do videos like this. And that's just the test footage. Can you imagine when I actually have something to say? <laughs> I got a lens and I got like a mobile filmmaking kit. So this is gonna be another way in which I can make art. I kind of feel like my existence is just like, how many ways can I make art? And again, if you're also on a self-discovery journey or a self-expression journey, or if you just want to update your closet, use my code Batoon on ThreadUp. You'll get an extra 35% off your first order and free shipping. If you're a part of the corner community over on Substack, you already know this because I tell all my secrets there. This past week, I've barely used my phone, one, because it was hooked up for so long, and two, I realized that the more I'm consuming, the less time I have to create. So, I feel like I might take a break from social media a little bit and use that time to document the process of discovering what type of artist I am in this era. Before the wind blows my phone off of this, take a break, go outside, take a breath, and I'll see you the next time I do. Bye. I'm making my tour.